Disturbing rumor turned out to be true at your school. When I was a senior in high school, we had a new teacher join the faculty to teach health and home economics. She was probably about 26 years old and very very attractive. Everyone was talking about the hot new teacher. As I was senior class president, I needed a new faculty advisor since my previous advisor of three years retired at the end of my junior year. About two weeks later the principal called me into his office and informed me that the new hot teacher was going to be our new class advisor for the rest of the year. As a result, she and I spent a lot of time together, at school and off campus, organizing and running myriad events to raise money for the class, plan the prom, field trips etc. Soon, the rumors started flying around that she and I were messing around. This was completely false. I can say she never acted inappropriately towards me or suggested anything to make me think she had plans for any type of physical or sexual activity. She was a fantastic advisor and always just that, a class advisor. I spent the rest of the year denying these rumors with friends, with teachers and with parents. I was even interrogated by my wrestling coach the day before the district championship match. She and I had a laugh about it at graduation as she had to face similar questions from other faculty as well as the principal. She confided in me that she had tendered her resignation but the principal would not accept it and said he believed her and would ensure the rumor was squashed. So I graduated and left for my plebe year at West Point forgetting about the entire situation. At West Point the first year is called plebe year rather than freshman year. The first semester of my plebe year was moving along as it should with no unusual events worth mentioning until the final month. Then, in early December, the topic of my high school faculty advisor resurfaced. One night when I was studying, there was a knock on my door and the company tactical officer, a regular army captain, walked in and told me to report to his office immediately as there was a phone call for me from the Dover Police Department. Now, I immediately assumed it was my brother playing some kind of twisted joke on me since he was a captain in the very same police department waiting for me on the phone. Since my tack was standing right behind me, I answered the phone as we were taught, Cadet Kerwick speaking, how may I help you sir slash ma'am? I immediately recognized the voice on the other end. It was not my brother but a close friend I had grown up with and known for over 15 years. He said, 